What's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson 4, and hopefully, you guys are having a great day today. Today, people, we're gonna keep on talking about Call of Duty World War II. And by the way, yes, that is the title, it's been confirmed several times. Just in case, for some of you people who don't even know nothing about the next COD, that is gonna be the actual title for the next game Call of Duty WWII. Quite lazy by their part, to be honest, but what, hey, what can we do? You know, <laughs> they want to get lazy, I guess so. Hopefully, the game comes out better than the title. So, anyways. What I want to talk about today, people, is that I've been seeing a lot of videos lately from some big YouTubers and small YouTubers, and it's pretty rare for me to see like uh, other people's Call of Duty content because, you know, competition. And I didn't make an exception last month. Like I rarely see, you know, Call of Duty videos. Maybe like every other month, I'll see a few, and then I'll just step away because I don't want to do nothing with that kind of competition. So, um, I was looking at these types of videos that were saying that uh, slow pace running is what's going to kill Call of Duty. Because, you know, you know, what do I mean by slow pace, by the way? What do I mean by slow pace, you know, game? Um, just look at, take a look at the gameplay in the background. That is slow pace, according to several players out there. Because, you know, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghost, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, all of those games are slow pace games. Compared to what we have right now, which is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, and Black Ops 3, those are fast paced games. Pretty much the futuristic games. And a lot of people are saying that the, the, the freaking boots on the ground, slow paced game is what's going to kill the actual Call of Duty franchise. I mean, you can easily tell these kinds of people didn't even play, didn't even play the good Call of Duty games. You can easily tell these people started off in Call of Duty Ghost, and of course they're going to think the series sucks, because Call of Duty Ghost did suck balls, you know, that game was fucking terrible. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure they just jump into Advanced Warfare and they're like, oh, you know, look at this fucking game, it looks pretty good. And that's why they think that fast pace is better for COD. That's my opinion about those kinds of people. But uh, anyways, you know, I just think that the fast pace or, you know, jumping 10 foot high on cocaine, I think that's what killed Call of Duty. Like right now, you go into Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, you're barely going to see anybody on ground war or the match is not even complete. It's already dead and it's not even past June. I remember back in the day in Modern Warfare 3, you know, in the gameplay in the background, there would be millions, like over freaking 10 million people playing at the same time. Because there used to be like a little feed bar in the bottom. Every time you, like before you start a match, you should be able to see a feed, uh, feed bar. And it says that there's like this amount of people online. And there was like freaking millions, like 5 million people freaking, there was like a stats, like how many people have killed, like, uh, you know, giving out headshots and stuff like that. Like it's crazy. And it was super cool back then. And, uh, well, I guess, you know, slow paced game is going to kill Call of Duty. Fuck no, it didn't. It was actually pretty good. It's just quite surprising how many of these big YouTubers are saying that, you know, slow pace, you know, games are going to kill the Call of Duty franchise. It's really not. It's going to make it better because that's how the franchise started. And that's where all the Call of Duty veterans are. And pretty much it's going to stay like that. Most of them are not, are not going to transition over to the future, to the futuristic setting. Because the futuristic setting is not what we came here for. We came here for, like, uh, you know military kind of style game modern so i know a lot of people are going to be saying like well stick to freaking you know the old school cards and leave us with the new ones like bruh they start off with the freaking boots on the ground that's how it's supposed to stay that's why i'm still here in the series i don't care about the freaking futuristic games i'm not gonna freaking you know bother defending those games even though they're good you know if they're good at some point i'm not gonna say they're you know what's good about them i'm saying what's bad about them so uh, that's my, you know, that's my decision and pretty much I'll stick to it. But anyways, I believe, you know, boots on the ground is the right thing to go here. And I know a lot of people are already used to the futuristic setting, you know, jumping 10 feet high and everything. But at some point in time, you got to get used to it now. <laughs> it's karma, bitch. That's what I that's what I want to say to everybody who comes from uh, Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty Black Ops 3. It's karma. Now you get used to it. Just like how you said, you know, us players who usually are from the old school CODs get used to the jumping 10 feet high bullshit. Karma. Pretty much caught up, didn't it? So, that's what I think about this situation, people. It's not going to really kill the Call of Duty franchise. I think it's going to make it better. It's just like uh, the only way they can kill the Call of Duty franchise is they made terrible DLC and also terrible maps and pretty much terrible killstreaks. 
and maybe a little bit on the gameplay mechanics. So that's my opinion. What do you guys think about this situation? Do you guys think it's good? Do you guys think it's bad that we're going back to boots on the ground? Leave it in the comment section. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more Call of Duty World War II.